Hi guys, this morning I think what I'm going to do is uh, use my Spellbinders December 2020 cra uh, card kit of the month. I was going to say craft kit, but it's a card kit uh, of the month. Um, and I think, let me see what it's called. Heart hands. I knew it had to do with the little hands. I couldn't remember exactly what they called it. So whatever links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're a purchase item through those links. Now, um... So with Spellbinders, this is a monthly craft kit or card kit or whatever it is that you're picking up because they have all these different, uh, you know, small die of the month, large die of the month, APG, glimmer foil things, um, and then the value kit. So I always get a value kit. Um, I find that that's <laughs> the best value, so you can check that out. But again, I'll have the links in the description box. You get 10% off their site that's already reflected once you logged in off the pricing there. Um, and having said that, they're even taking that 10% off of their super surprise, super secret bundle or whatever they're calling it right now. It's still available. Um, it depends when you're watching this. I'll have the information in the description box. People ask me all the time or they'll say, "What? can you give me the link? The link is down in here. So, And I get this question very often. So um, whenever you're on YouTube and someone says there's something in the description box and any kind of link, they're usually not in the comments. Uh, it's not something I would leave a comment. It's under here, under the title. There might be show more. It might have a little triangle. It might just be to click on the um, title and that'll open up and you can use all those links that are in there and that's not just me that's any youtuber um, so thank you guys so much for using those if uh, you're so inclined and um, yeah and again you can manage your your club online I've showed you guys a few different times how to do that if you want to see some of those older videos you can check those out but pretty much every month at the beginning of the month I'll show you how I manage mine so really easy to manage, skip, quit, add a club, change the club, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, okay, so uh, we already went over the small one. And this one is so fun. The large die, the look behind the curtain. I need to use this again so we can do another fun card there. This month they have member appreciation, so if you sign up or if you already remember, they're going to send you a little freebie. I happen to get um, glue dots and then this tape runner. Uh, some people got something different is what I'm hearing, so... It just depends. They have a little inspiration sheet over here, um, always. So again, this is the heart hand, so it has to do with this little hand. A little different style than the other hand that they had that was holding the flowers a few months back, and that one's really cute. So um, I do love this. I saw an example. Um, whenever you click on the link there, or whenever you go over to their site, if you want to look at the uh, card kit, um, where someone put the hands in an opposite direction, so it looks like they're holding something. And I can't even, well, maybe once I get them cut out, I'll show you what that means, but or what that looks like. Um, it was kind of cute. It's basically just to put this one this way and this one this way, but we'll get there. I am curious. I want to try this little, I see what they're doing here. I like that, but I want that with the heart hands, but I think this is going to fall inside of that, so it might be awkward. I might look at how to use that. We'll see. Um... Anyway, really cute set. We'll take a better, closer look. I did place my order for the free, not free, <laughs> for the mystery uh, bundle. Um, and then I added some Heart Hands paper, because if you guys remember, I forgot to add this to my uh, order for whenever the club kit went out. So it, that's another thing you can do. You can also kind of browse what's uh, along with the club kit and add more paper, add stickers, whatever it is that you want to do before everything goes out. Um, okay, so we're going to die cut that and we're going to assemble it pretty straightforward and then you're going to decorate however it is that you like. So let's look at this guy. We have sequins. I love the little gold sequins because there's different sizes in here and it's so cute. Love it. Um, okay, so then we have like chipboard type stickers. And that's what they use with this one with just the die cuts and it looks really adorable. And kind of interesting. I like the color palette a lot. I think I mentioned that the last time when I opened this stuff up. The Heart Hands die cut shapes. They might be a little bit jumbled because I think I went through these to look for something. Maybe that was last month. But um, just a lot of stuff. So we'll get to that. But look at the little body. Um, what's that thing called? I oh, had the model thing, but I always forget what they're called. A dress form. <laughs> and then a bike and all kinds of cute little things in here. I like it because you can just throw a card together real easily with those. It always comes with dimensional adhesive and your tape, um, line tape, basically. This was the freebie. Um, and I guess the other one I used it, so I have it out here somewhere. Um, the dies. So let's look at these because I'm curious as to what all is in here. these little flowers I think that's what they used because I was like how did they get this behind this lady unless there's something in there that cuts this I don't know this right here but it might be that they just took several of these and tucked them in behind there that's what it looks like so that's to make that shape 
This cuts out a word, so I'll have to check out what word that is because I it's probably in the stamp set. And then we have our heart hands that have the background and then the topper that, you know, so you have your shadow and then the other part there. So those are the dies for the month that are in there. So this one, so what I'm saying, I think they embossed this and then probably fussy cut it, right? And then they added in those little uh, flowers at the top. So maybe I can mess with them a little bit different. Huh, yeah, so I thought this was one long strip, one long strip, but as you can see here, but it's basically several of those and you line them up. They're just showing you how to do that to make the frame, even though the frame isn't on this card. So that's a nice example. They're kind of showing you that. Um, we have that beautiful like cameo kind of portrait um, shadow, what's it called? Profile. <laughs> they used to do back in the day. Hello, lovey. Okay, you are the best. That's what the words that the die cuts out. For you, a little note, and I love that this is look, looks like typewriting and it's already separated for you. Um, sometimes I like to do things like this and then cut up the words, use them that way, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's like this bar in this piece. I'm still not sure quite what that's about, so I'll have to check that out. Um, it was, maybe it's, no, I don't know. Um, and then the cute little envelope and that, again, that little frame, the little hand here holding a flower. And then it says to a beautiful soul who brings light with her smile. So that's another sentiment you can pop in there or use it however you like. Um, these are, um, just a ton of tags, really cute. You can dress them up and just put them on the front of a card, use them however you like, use them in a project. Like if you were making a little mini album with some of these things, I think that'd be really cute. Um, you already have your tags ready to go. Maybe that's what we'll do. I don't know if I'll be able to do that before the end of the month, but that sounds good. Having said that, I know you guys know I got the Anna Griffin uh, mini album maker or album maker. And to be honest, I had passed it up because I was like, I already have a lot of album makers. I'm waiting for the one from Tonic. I have the ones from, you know, different companies, uh, Spellbinders, well, the other one, and several other ones. And I like to make them from hand, from, hand, from scratch um, or by hand. And... Um, and you guys have been asking me to do it and asking me to do it, and I, I will, I will get to it. <laughs> it's just that it wasn't really something I wanted to get, so I have to really be in the mood not, you know, to use it and to use it in a way that um, I think will work out and will make a, a nice project. So I, I have to think about that one. It'll come up. I already have them. If you guys have them, you know, you guys have the things. They don't go bad. So <laughs> at some point, I'll get to it, okay? So thank you guys for asking. But yeah, I, I just really have to be in the mood, so um, I'll get to it soon. Um... But anyway, but maybe that's what I'll use. I'll use this uh, set to go along with it. Hmm. I know she does like five by seven type books and this paper is six by six, but we can, you know, mat and layer. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so this is the paper heart hands paper. And I think I went through it the other day because I really love the little peace signs, zigzag, geometric. You know, this is like crafty stuff. Um, really pretty. I was wondering about this because they use it in the cards. And I'm like, what is that? So it's the paper is already like that designed that way. Really cute. Oh, the embroidery hoops. Again, I'm still surprised by it. I'm like, oh, because <laughs> you know, when I opened this at the beginning of the month, I have forgotten already. Um, and then it starts repeating. Look at that paper. Oh, this paper's so pretty. Oh, maybe we'll use that one. I love that. But if I use that, then there's not going to be a lot of room to use other. I don't know. We'll see. And this one has all kinds of hearts, uh, the heart hands and stuff. Actually, it has no heart hands. <laughs> what I mean, it's the little hands, but I like the decorations on there remind me of something like that with little hearts. Cute. Well, there are heart hands right here. There's one right there. Adorable. Okay, and then it has the plastic, like, Jet Puff stickers. I always call them Jet Puff. I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's what I call them. The um, alphabet there. And I haven't ever used these, but I probably should try and use them sometime. We have the card bases and envelopes. There's 10 of each. And then the papers, and they're always gorgeous. And I think when I went through this really quickly when I first got this in. Um, I just, the color palette is gorgeous. Look at that. It's very pretty. So I always like to, you know, just change it up, whatever hand or color I use for like skin tones. Um, in this kit, we have like a craft card stock that's a little bit more green than it is brown. And then this is like this peachy tone here. I'm assuming, I don't think that they meant for that to be the skin tone. Do you think so? That's very peachy. It's almost yellow, like, I don't know. Uh, just white, there's a light blue. This must be like a, a even a lighter light blue because this, so compared to the white, you can kind of see it's a little sea foamy even. Pink, green, and then the black. So I might choose a different color for my stash for the, the hands. I'll use the black for the background. 
Um, so let me think about what we want to do, and I will pull all those things out, and we'll get started. Okay, so I just looked through my stash, and I have tons of different, like, tones and hues. And you know what? The I think they did use that peachy color for the heart hands in this one. It kind of looks like it, if I'm really looking at this. Um, so there's that color. Again, the craft, the craft that's in there is not quite the tone I'm looking for. This is... Um, I know this is uh, close to my heart paper. I have no idea what color it is. That one's pretty good. This one's a little bit deeper. This is, I think this is also close to my heart paper. And then this is the craft cardstock, and I believe it might be tonic craft cardstock because that's a different look. And then the Hobby Lobby one's a little browner. I was looking for a piece to share with you guys, but I <laughs> couldn't find it. Is it this one? I don't know. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but this one is a little different. So eh, it might also be from tonic. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, it's been a while since I used a different type of cardstock other than tonics. I kind of like, I like this, but now that I look at this one, it's kind of a clay color, huh? Mm, maybe I'll go with cardstock, uh, craft, which I always end up using. <laughs> but whatever color you like to use, obviously pick that out. Um, and I'm going to put this, so this is the, uh, the smaller part, the part that doesn't have the little cuffs, the part that has the cuffs. I'm going to cut out from the black paper from the kit, and I just trimmed it down to fit, you know, basically that size. Oh, something stuck on here already. And then I'll see about the little frame. I want to use those. I just don't know how to use it for the project quite yet. So um, let me just cut this out. And then um, I'm just going to run these through the marquee. I'm going to do this one first because um, it doesn't have a lot, little, the small pieces, so I don't mind... You know what? It needs a folder to cut out with. I was going <laughs> to put it in there without anything. We're not that advanced yet. We need a little something to cut on. Okay. See. One, two. <laughs> it looks so cute. Okay, I'll put that there. I guess I could... Well, I don't need that. And then this guy, the really the only small piece this has is the pinky. See how the pinky sticks up? It has those little bits. Everything else is one piece, so I just want to make sure I don't lose my little pinky bits. So I will get that cut out here. I brought out the little flower paper because that's what I wanted to use. Let me see if my pinky bits... Yeah, so one stayed in here and one stayed over here, so I will be careful with that. And all we're going to do is stick down our little hands. Get this here. So I'm going to stick that on there. And it's not too small, so I'm just going to use glue and just glue it down. I'll do the same thing for the other side. Oopsie. Ay, ay, ay. Here we go. Um, how was your guys' weekend? I know last. Yesterday I was just kind of hanging around the kitchen and then I finally got to taste my mooncakes. You have to wait a few days. And they were pretty good. And the thing is, I've never made them before and I don't even know what they're supposed to taste like. So um, <laughs> I'm going to keep practicing uh, with different flavors. So the one I made yesterday was like a five nut mooncake. Why can I? I can't get this glue open. I left it uncovered a little bit. Let me poke at this and I'll be right back once I get it going. So yeah, I'm going to do a little more experimenting today. Try out some different flavors. See what happens. But the basic technique, I got it down, so that was good. Let's see here. Okay, and then I already have the other pinky piece. I need this little pinky piece to come on out. And this time, usually when it's something small, I'll rather put the glue on the surface and then bring that piece over. I cleared this out. I don't know what happened. I shouldn't have left it open. Obviously, you should never leave glues open. All right. And there's that. And now I can hear Miranda's awake. <laughs> Good thing this is kind of a quick one. All right, I'll do the same thing for the other side and I'll be right back. So that was very simple. So I want to see about the sizing on that. So I cut down this paper to four and an eighth by five and three eighths, just because I wanted a very small margin. But if you don't want to work with eighths, then, you know, don't. <laughs> just uh, cut it to four by five and a quarter. Or if you like to cover the whole front, then four and a quarter by five and a half. 
and I have flowers and the flowers do kind of have a direction as you can see they're kind of going up so I cut the paper in that way make sure your cards opening the right way and maybe I shouldn't have used a dry adhesive because I <laughs> want to eyeball this very well I used to go over a little bit more that way if you're not good at matting definitely use a wet glue that you can manipulate but that's such a pretty paper I just had to use it now we have our little heart hands oh so cute okay so yeah the other one I think she had it like this so it looks like it's holding stuff and then she put little flowers in there so you know you can do whatever you like there um, okay, so if I'm going to pop those up, and then we have, maybe I'll use the word that was in the stamp set. Maybe there. And then I was curious about these, but I don't know if I want to, because I was going to say, maybe you put two, and then one, one, and then another two. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like... Okay, well, let me try. I'm going to cut out a couple of these in that gold paper that comes in the kit, and then I'll see kind of what, what that might look like. lined up here. <laughs> What's funny is I just cut a strip of paper because I was trying to be chintzy with it, and it is like, look at this, right on the dot. Oh, my gosh. Um, so this is about three-quarters of an inch wide, but I probably would do inch strips if you're going to do that just to you know maximize your paper because that was really quite close. Okay, so we have these pieces. I just want to see how they go. So one's a little a little more bent than the other. That's the other thing. I didn't know exactly how these went. So I think I probably should use the straighter one for both. Eh, I don't know. Maybe you should put those in their hands. Huh. Let me think about what I want to do to make this pop in. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so you know the kids are up now. So I was trying to just move this around. I have this here. I opened up the um, the tags, and I was like, well, you know, I can just... Basically, I just need something to break it up behind there, because I did the black and the black, right? So um, I like this tag, I think. It would be cute if we put this one down. Ay, ay. Somewhere like that. And then maybe these guys then popped up on there. Which is so funny. I always felt like the card had a pink feel, but... I put a blue card, a uh, blue tag, and it has a blue feel. And then I was like, well, I do want to do the stamp, but at the same time, so, you know, you would just stamp your stamp with the words and then use the little die to cut it out just like you would see here. It looks like they embossed it here on the black background with some gold embossing. So, just something else you could do. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll still do that. I just want to look through these guys, and these guys, there's always tons of die cuts. So, uh, let's see. Oh, This one back here, what does that say? Perfect. Create. Oh, there's lots of little tags in here. Obviously, you can use just little words. There's flowers we can pop in there. These things I would just make cards by themselves with. Uh, just with some nice paper in the background. <laughs> little tiger. Oh, the dress form. I tell you, that's so pretty. I think if you're crafty, you can put that in the background or just somewhere. So cute. Okay, let me dig through these things and see if I find something that I would like to use. I think I'm going to do something like this, but look how cute this paper is. <laughs> this little tag. Oh my gosh. Okay. Which is funny because I was going to pop some things up and now I think, you know, I'm just going to do everything flat and just let this have its own thing. Okay, so let's do that. Um, I'm going to use this glue just in case I want it to move. I can move it a little bit. If I use my deluxe adhesive, it's pretty much done. So... Again, I'm leaving this nice and crisp. You want to distress it with some ink, however you like. That would be great. And I'm putting the little heart hands close together. I would assume you kind of have to, right, for them to make their heart. But, you know, do you want them more like this, completely together? I'm doing them a little bit, a little space. And again, my intention would be to pop them up. But I want to keep them flat just so I can put these other things down with them. So, again, I'm using a glue that I can move for a few seconds. <laughs> I just love these little hands. I think uh, that last one that holds the flowers, I just, they're so cute. It's a cute idea. And then again, I did the black for a silhouette, like in the background, but you don't have to use black. You can use whatever color you like for the cuffs and everything. Uh, let's see here. 
and like that. And then I was just going to stick these in here. I don't really want to obstruct the hearts though, so like you still see the heart hands, of course. And with this one, I might use a dryer glue because I don't want to wait too long for that to set up. So, ay ay ay. Feel so bad that I left that kind of messed up. I have to give it a real good squeeze for it to work for me. Uh, let's see. Let's see what that looks like in a second. I suppose that could have a little dimension to it. I am going to use my 3D glue gel. It's a small piece, but you can um, absolutely just use foam uh, adhesive. Just have to cut it down like the adhesive that comes in the kit. Just cut them in half, right? So that, uh, it's a small piece that will fit behind this. Okay, sneaking out there. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. I might add some sequins. Actually, I will add some sequins, so I'll probably just put some little dot, 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 and I'll come back and show you guys that. But again, kids are up. I'm going to wrap it up now. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that gave you some ideas. I'm still going to play with this just to adjust the flowers just so. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, again, links are in the description box, and I'll see you at the next one. Uh, so, yeah, this will be the same kit that if any time in December that you will receive if you sign up or if you already signed up for it before, this is the December kit, okay? So, all right, guys, bye now. Thank you.